Hey guys, just wanted to do a video to show some options for creating relationships between contacts in a light switch application. And this uh, application has some contact records, so you can see them here. And if I go into one of these guys, let's just choose that first one, and you can see there's a bunch of relationships. Um, while we're on this screen, I'll just show, um, on a side note, a cool tool called filepicker.io, which allows me to do image uploads. If I go into the edit screen for that contact, you can see I've got this click to change, which calls through to the file picker service and allows me to choose from a whole different range of uh, upload options. So I can upload from my phone or from my computer or let's say web images. Uh, I'll just choose um, a random one here and choose upload. And you can see it's also converting over here on the right, on the left. So um, it, it'll actually convert to any resolution that you want. In this case, I've got 100 by 100, and I'm just going to click on save for that one. And you can see that that picture will now take effect over here. Um, so um, these relationships are actually created um, through a separate relationships table and obviously there's two sides to any relationship so if I was to add a new one you can see there's you can have a child where Colin is the parent or I can have a parent where Colin is the child and some relationships uh, look the same on both sides for example friend or partner so I'm just going to choose friend for this one and I'll choose Mariana as the friend and you can see it'll just take a second to refresh here and you can see now that Mariana is actually listed there as a friend for Colin. Um, I can click onto that actual person and jump through to their contact record and then you can see she's got her own relationships. So um, that's actually done through a rear service because obviously two sides to a relationship we want to say show me one uh, single list where um, the relationships uh, where I am the parent side of the relationship and also show me union that with all the um, relationships where I am on the child side of the relationship so what it does is it takes a, it uses a rear service to combine those two together and present them as one uniform list uh, makes it nice and simple for the user hopefully that's useful to someone